All right, here we go. Welcome back to the Chop Up. All right, we're here. Uh, what's that? Lucky number thirteen. Lucky thirteen. Yep. Yeah, yep. this one's been a fun one. It's been uh, on and off and rescheduled a couple times. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's um, a perfect fit for a uh, lucky number thirteen. I know, for the thirteen, yeah. I, I would typically skip thirteen. Yeah. Sometimes I even name uh, numbering files. Yeah, like do you? This, I, <laughs> yeah, I get a little bit weird about That's that. Funny. I never I'm thought like, of that. I'm like, uh, 12, 14, Yep. Yeah, hey, well, well, whatever. I'm gonna have to. I <laughs> Hopefully, might, this is one of the better episodes. So. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, uh, you know, take your file <laughs> naming convention and do that too. Right. Yeah. So yeah. So today we're gonna talk about the do tour. I just got back uh, last weekend from that. So good old, good old Des Moines. Yep, Des Moines, Iowa. So first, first travel since COVID. Yeah, I think. since COVID. Uh, and for good the, for the company and good place to go. Yeah, right yep. to Iowa. Yeah, exactly. Love it. Yep. So we'll explain why iowa and then um kind of you know go back and talk about the do tour the winter do tour that we uh we're at as well so. yep yeah we've been to two events and we've done three branding kits so yep. it's kind of a fun story yeah we'll kind of dive into that yeah. whole deal yep. Heck yeah but yeah before we do that let's uh answer a question here related to the do tour Brittany moore you want to grab that all right well dang it makes me think i need glasses yeah but Brittany moore she's saying uh <laughs> The colorway for the Dutour marketing is super fresh. Any comments on the method to the madness about the color? Or did you guys just keep mixing and matching until you landed on it? Good question. Yeah, dealing with this last logo that we did for the, the Des Moines, um, the colors are pretty challenging because, you know, like you know, Dutour has red and green set in stone, you know, till death. So pairing colors with that is always challenging. You kind of are limited with what works well in the color wheel. You know, you got blues and oranges basically that sit with that. Yeah. Um, so it's pretty limiting. You could try to get a little crazy and instead of going red, you go like a magenta uh, and it changes things up and it makes it pretty fresh. But obviously, you know, the, the core Mountain Dew brand, you know, wants to retain their red always. So yeah. And at some point the, the actual Mountain Dew logo is going to be on there oh, yeah. you know, on the branding. So yep. you will have that green in their red. Yep. Um, so it does get tough and you'll see, as we dive into these comps, um, we show a bunch of different colorways yeah. and present it in a bunch of different ways. Um, <clears throat> the last three projects, they all end up at some point using the do going the back do to green. the yeah. classic colors. Yeah, so so it's one of those things where we, where we try and push it and we try and present some interesting colorways, but in the end, client usually goes back to, totally. to the safe route. So understandable, you know, for sure. Yeah, we want that brand recognition. So yep. yeah. So yeah, hope that answers your question, Brittany. All right, so let's uh, let's first uh, go back in time to yeah, this was uh, two when, Februarys ago. Yeah, so flew out to uh, Denver, drove up to to Copper Mountain, a little bit past Breckenridge. Yep, February sixth uh, through the ninth. Yep, just getting there was crazy. It was a freaking biggest blizzard of the year. Uh, it took Brandon and I uh, four or five hours to. You know, truck through the snow to get up there. I think we're the last set of cars going through the the pass. Yeah. Um, it's pretty hairy too. Yeah. Uh, people pulled over sideways. You know, it was, uh, <laughs> not being from the snow, it was pretty gnarly. Yeah, and you know, I went to college out there, so I was out there for four years, and and going snowboarding and going to the mountains in Denver. Usually, there's a good chance it's going to be sunny and nice. Yeah. Like they don't get they get a lot of snow, and that highway is huge, but they don't get like a ton of like blizzards and stuff that that hit basically that weekend we were there yeah. so i mean i think it's kind of unusual part of the event was canceled and postponed um it was hectic yeah it was it got a little little gnarly it, yeah i mean we were snowed in you know good excuse to drink some beers but it yeah. was it was an yeah. interesting time yeah it was it, it was fun we'll uh kind of show some of those photos here in a little bit this was our very first project for mountain dew and pepsi they reached out um, looking for a, a kit for the Dew Tour. Yep. In the past, they've used artists, um, Steve Harrington. Yep. Um, who was Luke, the other one? I don't Luke, know how to pronounce yeah. his last name, but he's ripping it on the guitar these days. Luke Pet Petlier or something. Yeah. He does cool crocodiles or alligators. Yep. So they, they did it the, the uh, previous two years. And so they reached out to us um, looking for the branding for this this year for the winter event. Well, it was winter and summer they were signing on for, yep. so. Which was cool because in the past, they kind of went with a, a single artist that's famous, mm -hmm. you know? Yep. Um, so to kind of come to us as a studio, um, it, it was exciting for us to kind of follow in the footsteps of, of those artists that we yep. like, you know? For sure, yep. Yeah, so what you're seeing here is the end, basically the logo, logo type. So 
in the past, they've kind of always had this thing set where where it is a big piece of type that either says, you know, Copper Mountain um, basically calls out the location yep. of the event. So even you kind of kind of work in the Dutour logo um, mm-hmm. with it, you know, this one's it doesn't show it. But that was also um, just a challenging aspect to kind of fit that with it, you know, yeah, and then they always sure. wanted a certain size. It can't be too small, obviously. Yeah. Um, so you, you have a lot of elements, you know, happening yep. to make this event logo. So yeah, from there, we'll kind of dive through some of the color options. This is where we try to present, you know, some kind of crazy non-branded colors for them. Yep. Yeah. I mean, also what you've seen here on the right is the uh, the full graphics kit. So we went with this little Yeti character, Mountain Dude, um, that yeah. Brandon kind of blew out and did the headphones, the mic. And he, the, I mean, this really lended itself to the patterns and oh, yeah. basically the event graphics. Like totally. it, it was super easy to use for them. Even like that monster hand or the, yeah, the, I don't know, Yeti hand, whatever that thing is, yeah. holding the can, that shit's fun, dude. That's oh, like right here, this thing, yeah. Sometimes it's kind of cheesy to show the product <laughs> in the, you know, in the illustration, but this is perfect. You know, I could actually picture that, you know, Yeti cracking the beer. Yeah. Actually, I think there was a Yeti walk around the event, if there I was. remember right. Oh, yeah. Yep, we'll show that it's here kind of creepy in a bit. So these are, this is basically three color options. I think we presented more, but you can kind of see you know, the way it takes a totally different vibe, especially that top left one. Oh, yeah. You know, I was, you got the pink and the... I was trying yellow. to get crazy. Yep. You know, yeah. I'm like, you, it's cool. Dan said go crazy. I'm like, that means I'm putting pink. Mm-hmm. Because honestly, I mean, that could be super fun. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, it would have... It would have changed the vibe of the whole event. Oh, yeah. You know? Colors are very important. Yeah. I mean, if you look at the one, you know, below it, much more reserved, yep. safe. I mean, you could already picture the, you know, the collateral from there versus the top one might be on a tie-dye shirt, you know? Yeah, the, exactly. the bottom one will just be on a nice black t-shirt or white. Yep. Yeah, and maybe nowadays with the tie-dye, that top one would have got picked. Yeah, tie-dye is coming back. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you can see, you know, the little Yeti characters on the right. I mean, they look drastically different yeah good mild to wild there you yeah know? so let's move on to the logo concept so <clears throat> you know this being our first project with do tour um we wanted to blow it out and kind of and basically show a bunch of different options illustrated type and just take it pretty far and uh and you can see some of that here yeah let, let, let's pause on this page this page is great i mean if we start in the top left Damaso. So I think it was primarily Damaso, Brandon, and Davey that kind of worked on this, uh, you know, initial set. Yep. And this top left, you know, concepts are crazy. Look at the C, like the freaking <laughs> the, jump. Yeah. I mean, every letter has something special. The, you know, the O pouring into the E, like that's, you know, that's brilliant. The mountains with the the mountain type, the snow. That's the crazy. snow on the trees. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. I mean, I love letters, so it's like that is probably the coolest thing ever. Yeah. So. Pretty exciting to see this. And then moving on to the second option, classic, clean, you know, wild still, but not as wild as that first one. And then I think on the third option there, we we handed it off to Davey and we were like, you know, basically take a stab at Damaso's concept and just uh, simplify it a little yeah, bit. make it a little bit more readable. Yep. You know, so that's where you get kind of the same jump for the C, but... Yep, in the can. Yeah, everything's locked up a little tighter. Um, but yeah, yeah it's super, super fun options here. I mean, mm-hmm. th- these guys really pushed it on this one. And then it was, you can kind of see Brandon was using a little bit of like green liquid yep. um, to kind of call back to Mountain Dew. Cause it's one of those things where it's like, how much, how much do you push the product and Mountain Dew and, you know, a can and, yeah. and everything, um, and try and tie it all together. So yeah, I think good. that was a good way to do it. Very good way to do it moving on down here so that that was round one and then as you move down you got davy with the one on the the top left which is a simpler kind of cleaner yeah still crazy yeah but compared to the other ones pretty simple you have your whole scene it's got that super trippy 3d type effect going on Mm -hmm. there that's pretty fun dude that might be a a, might be a lincoln font i was gonna say (laughs) that's a great great font right there he's probably got half the dang letters already yeah yeah exactly and then on the right you have damaso where he took the first version and laid it out horizontally because we had to present do tour has their logo locked up as a you know basically a square and then a uh, horizontal version of it super long version yeah so we had to show both and we we we're going to need to use both throughout the event so that's where Damaso had to re- rework everything to get that to work. Yeah, let's look at this bottom left one as well real quick. I mean, each one of those letters being a crazy element from, you know, I mean, dude's throwing up gang signs on the C. <laughs> For the C. Uh, all the way to the, you know, the the uh, getting off the plane, the, the stairs going yeah, down the on, the, the on the R. Like, 
Mm. I don't know. The, and the boot as the P, like, I don't mm. know. The counter space is a hole in the boot. Like, yeah, the melting P. Super yeah, freaking that thing's perfect. Heavy. I mean, even so, the one next to it, Davies, um, it's pretty crazy as well. I mean, look at that C. Some happy faces. Yeah. I, I, I was back in the day, I was at the old office. I was sitting behind him and watching him do this. And I was, you know, yeah. excited watching him do each letter. Like, oh, that's the M. Okay. Wonder what the next letter is going to look like. So, <laughs> totally. yeah, he did his thing on that one. And that, that could have been it. I mean, it would have been fun to pull out those oh, yeah. letters and, mm-hmm. you know, build build a whole kit based on that. Totally. I mean, even that M with those kind of um, pillars. You know, pillars. Yeah, maybe the, you have some pillars there at the event, you know. Yep. For sure. Yeah. Fun stuff. And then you go to the far right in uh, Brandon's and you can kind of see where that inspired the final yep. final logo. I like the uh, the mouth yeah. as the O. Pretty you know? funny. Yeah. yeah. I think that would have been cool. Yeah. Could have definitely played off that. Um, but I think we ended up going with uh, just more of a mellow O. You saw the final final type in the beginning, so yep. this are these are the pattern blowouts, which you you put all these together, yep. right? Yep. Yeah, you know we had to go with the the classic sticker bomb style on the right, and then you know just a good layout with everything on the left. But based on that right uh, pattern, sticker bomb pattern, they kind of blew that idea out throughout yep. the event. Yeah, and everything was kind of sticker bombed. The bumpers for the for the live TV event was all stickers kind of and it was like coming a, in. It was like a cool 3D effect. Yep. Um, it was before we had an animator in house and we offered that service. So they had someone handle it and it was fun. It had good texture, it was cool. yeah. you know, good effects. Which so kind of moving down the line here, you can see the website for the event. You can kind of see that sticker, sticker bomb effect kind of come in here yeah even that little texture they put on the paper Mm -hmm. um i don't i don't i didn't do that maybe you did no Um, no we didn't they did super cool little you know just a little tweak in it you know gives it a vibe and Mm -hmm. i like that we're basically hired to do the branding in a kit as far as like icons patterns and a brand book and we basically hand that brand book off to them Mm -hmm. and then they blow out the whole event whether it's um you know the towers for the judges uh, all the merch yeah the merch or like kind of going the down here the passes yeah these passes that are ha- uh, hanging up here so it's up to them to kind of build all that out and it's i'm sure on their end it's quite a bit of work you know, a they lot probably of work. have like oh. 50 things they need to to lay out with yeah. this you know style guide yep different sizes at the event and posters yeah. and banners and yeah that that little guy moving just vibing out to some music yeah, he's that's, fun. that's good <laughs> i love that so yeah, so that was uh, that was the winter event. Uh, great time. We uh, wrapped that up, and then uh, quickly, like a month later, they asked us to start on summer. Yep. Summer do tour, Long Beach. Uh, it was supposed to be in May, um, so we quick quickly came back to studio and just kind of jumped into that whole event. Yeah, same deliverables. Yep. Mm-hmm. But it was so the first one, Copper Mountain, was the snowboarding event. Yep. Um, so this one was the skate event, uh, also in Long Beach. So yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. You know, different look, yep. totally different, you know, sport too. So yeah. it was pretty fun to kind of attack this one. So it's like similar vibe, but still different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what you're seeing here are the first uh, logo comps. I'm loving that. Type, um, type old, up. Old English for the L and the B. Yeah. I mean, if anybody knows Long Beach, that's like... That, that's that, it. That's on brand. Yeah. I mean, even is... the, little, the little shark. So they loved our, uh, you know, our Yeti from the first round. So yeah. it's like, okay, how do we do or what do we do for Long Beach, you know? Yeah, that was um, one of the uh, <clears throat> that was kind of one of the only briefs was like, hey, let's let's definitely have a character because yep. that look worked out really well. Totally. So and then it's a little difficult because it's like, well, Long Beach, uh, you know, the ocean. So how do you, you know, so it's basically like, let's do a shark. But how do you do a shark uh, that's on land that has feet, you know? Yeah. So that was kind of Brandon's little battle, but he nailed it, you know. Yeah, you got the the more classic type here, a little yep. simpler. You got the crane. Um, Long Beach being a uh, a What's port that? city, yeah, big they, huge port. Yeah, they have all the the cranes taking the the containers off the ship. So, and then you got the shark again as the A. So, Perfect. Yeah, Brandon kind of ran that consistently throughout all these. Yeah, I'm loving that last letter form too. Super fun, kind of wonky but still clean. Yeah. So this is like I think kind of a throwback to Life's a Beach, which good, was yeah, good vibes. Yeah, an old brand. Definitely this '80s vibe, you know. Yeah. '80s, uh, early '90s. So let's move on to round two. Ooh. So they're into the Long Beach, uh, yeah. the LB. Yeah. You know, that, that kind of old English letter. Yeah, I like that, dude. Mm-hmm. Even the, the palm tree coming through the, the counter space of the O, super fun. Yeah. Just like one little element, you know, makes it super custom. For round two, one of the, the asks was, let's 
keep the LB, but let's clean up the rest of it, make yeah. it a little more readable. So yeah, these are these are fun type options. Yeah, and then you can see here they still they were into the to the old school one, so they kept this. Um, I think he added the uh, the hook going into the end. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Based off of the other concept, mm -hmm. it's totally cool to see it on the black ground. It totally changes it. Totally. Um, yeah, good to see though. You know. Yeah. And it gets used on both. I mean, we saw that with the uh, the the winter event, you mm -hmm. know. So, so yeah, moving on to the final final round here. So it's a good looking color palette. That blue, that yep. like steel blue. Yeah. So we're not not showing the color palettes we presented. We did present some options for colors. Um, this is what they landed on. So yeah, that steel blue is looks great. Yeah. On that shark. Yep. It, it sits w well with the red. Mm -hmm. Yep. We got the font palette here that we Ooh, supplied that rust on basic that's a good one yeah i've seen that and then the final logo type so they went with that uh Ooh. life's a beach style look that 80s. gradient that gradient really so sells it you know gives yeah. it a nice little punch you got the shark in there got the umbrella that whole deal it's a good vibe yeah Even the assets are funny look at i mean dude's doing a little kickflip there <laughs> yeah the shark he's uh crunching down on the can and this is some of the stuff where uh, we originally had him crushing the can, which is a no-no, you know? Yeah. A lot of companies, and and it's it's very true, it's like, don't show our product being smashed destroyed. or broken or destroyed, you know? Which it makes um, sense after the totally. fact. In our mind, we're like, oh, it's cool, though. He's like yeah, he's having a good time. Yeah, he's crunching it. Yep. are like, well, no, you're like destroying the, the product. And you're yeah. like, okay, that, that makes sense. Yep. So, you know, you, we have the shark assets scroll down to the... Uh, to the other assets and you have the crushed can in the sand. So this ended up not being crushed. Yep, just a normal can, yeah, just the can, yeah. Yep. Yeah, even the container school, like yeah. kind of random mm -hmm. as an asset, but if you know Long Beach, that's that's right on brand. Makes makes sense. Totally. Yep. And then you got the music, the speakers, because the event has it always has bands and yep. and things. So and then the patterns, Dustin's pattern work down here. Yep. I think I just try to base it off that that first round of like kind of concepts, mm -hmm. like you know, same ideas and, and blowing it out. I love the, the Volcom kind oh, yeah. of black. That's my go-to. That's yeah. my favorite. Uh, That's, you know, get some illustrated elements with some, with some straight lines and, you know, marry them together and always looks great. Yeah. Volcom's done a great job with that, you know, almost being their brand oh, identity yeah. for years. So yeah, one of my favorites. Yeah. That's if, cool. If I typically got to show three or four patterns, that's going to be one of the options for myself. Yep. So this was done, delivered the package to them. Um, I think a month, two months later, COVID hits. Event, yeah. event canceled. Yeah. So yeah, so we were kind of in limbo as far as like, okay, what's going to happen next? You know, when the, when and where is the event going to be? I was looking forward to cruise down to Long Beach. I was looking forward to Long Beach, yeah, and, for sure. I mean, sure. so this was a qualifier for the Olympics, so it's kind of like a big deal. It's not just a normal yeah, skate contest. Yeah, everybody has to show up, yep. And, you know, your Nijas and all that. So yeah. I was excited, you know, go get some good Mexican food, yeah. see some skating. Yeah, su see some, super bummed. See some sun. Uh -huh. um, yep. but, yeah, but that, that didn't happen. So then we got a call a couple months later that, okay, the event's rescheduled in uh, Des Moines, Iowa. I'm like, oh, damn, okay. You know? So, you know, I guess that sounds pretty random. Even It even did to me, but then they were showing us the skate park that just got built that apparently is the largest skate park in America, I heard. Yeah, that's what I heard, yeah. Um, and uh, going there, it's massive. <laughs> yeah. It's on the river, yep. like beautiful skate park. <laughs> it was cool. It was like, okay, cool. Excited to, uh, at least we have an event. Obviously, the sharks and the word Long Beach are out the window. Yeah. We, need, we need to start over. We've got to so. get a whole new kit. Yeah, a whole new kit. So they don't have sharks in Iowa? <laughs> no sharks Damn in Iowa. No, nothing in the river. So, uh, yeah, we had to come up with a whole new vibe and idea. And and so the do two are called. They had went out to Des Moines a couple times, um, scoped the area, brought back uh, mood boards on kind of what it looks like, yeah. you know, what the city's all about and everything. So the problem was they were like, hey, this is a tight turnaround. Yeah. Because... Uh, I can't, I'm not sure. It was basically a couple months ago that we designed it, handed it off, they executed, and I was just there. Last weekend. Yeah, last yeah. weekend. So um, so it was a very tight turnaround. They're like, hey, we want to, you know, start over. The, you know, it's in Des Moines. We got to use Des Moines. Here's some mood boards. Can you guys turn turn around comps like in a couple days? Yeah. It's like, oh shit. Okay, yeah. I mean, even for us, it was fast. And mm -hmm. now I'm trying to think, imagine, uh, you know, the dude printing the board or the, the yeah. shirts, like they probably had like 
a day. Uh, yeah, I can't and, imagine. Yeah. And that's, you know, very labor intensive. For sure. So, so yeah, let's dig into uh, to kind of what we did here. So this first one here, we... Uh, this one, I thought this one was it. You know? I thought it was too. We were all kind of doing them. Uh, I was able to kind of kick in on this round, and as soon as I saw this, I was just like, "Well, uh, you know, Davey's gonna get this one." Yeah, you got the uh, you got the John Deere tractor with the freaking uh, the you got the Ed Rat Roth, Fink. Yeah, yeah, little Rat Fink shifter knob on there. Yep, that thing that thing looks rad. Yeah, um, and then you got the bird in the top right, which I think is the state bird. Yeah, even that little bridge in the bottom right, just mm -hmm. pretty fun, you know, a good piece. That was one of the pieces from the brief was there are a lot of bridges. This event is on the river. So they had photos of different yeah. bridges. And um, they had specific ones. We wanted to yeah. show this one or this one. Yeah. So we definitely knew we, at some point, we needed to include the bridge. <laughs> so moving on here, uh, Damaso jumped in on this bad boy. Yeah, this one's crazy. Wild and crazy. Funky with the type. Yep. Like super fun type though. Like that eye going through the O. <laughs> I, I love it and it still yeah. reads right you know you know what you're reading and you got a you know a suggestion of a uh of the bridge in the background yep. and even the bird um that was kind of one of the ideas and you just have this this hint of the bird i didn't even notice that dude. yeah holding the banner wow. you know so it wasn't like hey in your face you know look at the tractor look at the bridge because they have that's like their state bird or something yeah or other, right? something yeah something yeah, something like that <laughs> yeah good piece though yeah it's cool and moving on, so we got Dustin's here. There's like a bunch of murals downtown that kind of have this vibe. Um, there's their flag. They have a flag that has bridges and kind of like the same kind of like D and yeah, the shapes are like built off the bridges. So mm -hmm. I was like, well, you know, this is it's not as good as a freaking rat frink tractor, but I'm gonna go at it. You know, no, it's rad. It's a good uh, good piece of type. Even uh, you know, commenting back to Brittany's you know question. I was trying to change up the colors. You know, you see the one little green on there, and now in retrospect, it looks kind of weird because there's no green anywhere else. But we were pushing it. You yeah, know what I mean, I wanted sure. to get that that salmon weird kind of color in there. But and then we have uh, Brandon's here. The got the tornado. I think that was something they weren't. They didn't want to go all in on the tornado, but but if they were willing to, man, we could have made a super cool character with arms and legs uh, out of a tornado, and it would have you know it would have worked just as well as the the shark and the in the yeti yeah and then brandon has the uh that kind of little fat bird in there yep. which that could have been used this in the same way you totally. know totally and then that dot pattern coming down from the top like yeah. that that's brandon that's a fun piece that's yeah. brandon and that's good i'm just yeah. noticing this little flower on there yeah it's got to be a state flower or something yep. but you know good use of that mm -hmm. moving on here this is yours as well right yep just trying to go in that you know getting super funky you know i'm mm -hmm. like well this is a shot in the dark but i'm I'm getting weird, so. so with the, I love the bridge, the kind of suggested bridge is not, you know, in your face, hey, this is a bridge. Yep, that was one of the ones that were on the flags. It was like three or four mm -hmm. of those stacks, so just kind of, you know, using that and, again, trying to push the colors. In a perfect world with a, with a good lead time, I was hoping to have some skate obstacles based off of these shapes. Like, if you look at the bottom of the E, it has that little hump, like, oh, we need a hump somewhere in there. And in the past, <clears throat> in some of their events in the past, they would actually build yep. new obstacles um, off of the type. Off of, yeah, something in the design to kind of mm -hmm. add to it. But they did obviously not this the was a yeah. rush, super rush, but. A uh, different colorway. Yeah, just trying to make it more legible. And this is where you could see, okay, this is Dutour. So you got the green, and, you know, yellow is a good complementary color off the green. So. Yeah. so moving on to round two. So they were into uh, kind of into Davy's type that had yep. the tractor, but it, didn't want to go in the tractor. Yeah, no tractor vibes. No tractor. So we have this bird, this eagle. They came back with the idea of, hey, um, let's do something with aliens and crop circles. Yep, which is actually perfect because I mean that's it's on brand, you know, or it's on trend. You know, everyone's yep. doing alien stuff right now. It makes sense based on where they're at. Yeah. Um. So even the crop circle idea was cool. You know, it's like okay, yeah, great, let's. How do we push that? I mean, the, that O crop circle, is, yeah, that's cool. Totally. I love that. And then you got the bridge in the bottom right with the alien dude creeping over. Yeah, the little Kilroy alien's great. Yeah. And then so this is a kind of collab between you and Brandon, right? Yep. I got a bunch of Brandon's assets and, you know, they kind of liked one of these with some some changes to the E and some of the letters. So I'm, you know, per like, all right, perfect. Let's put some of Brandon's assets on there. And to me, it was perfect marriage you know what i mean like uh, they loved your bridge yep you know the bridge and the type they're like this is this is heading in a great direction the challenge was fitting that do tour logo in there and not covering the bridge you know yeah. and as it gets bigger you're like oh well you want this bridge but 
yeah. I'm covering it. Getting getting super funky. We got the tractor beam on, on blast. You <laughs> Sucking know? up the dude with the skateboard. Yep. Shout out to all the aliens out there. We had to <laughs> put them in the logo. That's great. Uh, you got the the alien boneless. Yeah. So wait, go back one. This is uh this is new type here. So they were s essentially saying you know cool it type, is. but uh we want to see something new. So mm -hmm. if you go back down, kind of had to look at that. Yeah. Yep. So this was totally new type, and it's based what off I of love, the D. Yeah, is that you basically built the D off of their their logo. Yep. I took that and then, you know, obviously changed the D a smidgen and then built every letter off of that. Yep. I, again, in a perfect world with time, I'm like, oh, we should make this a font for them to use on, you know, the that would have been great. The menus yeah, or whatever, for you know. The whole event. Yep. yep. So you had the bridge a couple different times, but you have the one with the black outline and the shadow. Yep. You know, I love the shadow. Yeah. So I just popped this in the 3D and, you know, rotated it back a little bit to give it depth. And it, yep. it definitely helped. I was battling because there was no stroke on it. It was just kind of very a background element. Mm -hmm. Or popping the 3D on it. It's like, okay, yep. this is actually working. And you could see it where before is like so much in the background. And this is where they they were they also asked like can we incorporate crop circles? We oh, want yeah. the aliens, the bridge, and crop circles. Yeah. And it's kind of like that's Lots a lot of, of shit going yeah. on, you know. So this way you're trying to work in the crop circle and the O. Yeah. And I think the way you handled it in the final one was better. So this next page is the uh, basically the graphic set of the aliens that Brandon did supplied to you yep. um, to work with on a, on all the types. So super fun pieces. I mean, you can't go wrong with any of these pieces. I mean, two options of the Kilroy. You got the tractor beam. It's funny because it's just a classic alien dude. Yeah, you know? <laughs> it's, I love it. <laughs> it's cool. And then you can see on this page, Davey has his alien down on the right, yep. and then his his Eagle. bird. So yeah, they definitely went with the more traditional illustration style, a little thinner lined. Moving on here. Yeah, just a couple options. Yep. So this is the final, final, final piece. Yep. So we popped uh, first and foremost, we had to pop a bucket hat on the uh, the alien, you know, to bring it to trend. <laughs> which you know, I'm on brand yeah. today. Didn't realize, but yeah. um, even some of the colors here, you know, that kind of that weird blue sitting next to the green. It's like okay, that that kind of works, you mm -hmm. know. And this is where they're they still wanted the crop circles in there, so you kind of handled it as a pattern. Yeah. You know? Again, Masked like in. a Volcom style pattern, I yep. would say. Mm -hmm. But it looks it looks great. It's not too much where you're trying to make the oh a full crop circle. Yeah. And even like once I started diving in and looking at some of these crop circles, they are like kind of simple. Some of them are not even circles per se. So it's like, you know, right. uh, there's really not much here to pull from. So, you know, the, I think the masking is, is better. Yeah. And then the, the tractor beam, the dude getting sucked up into the ship. It's great. Like, love that. It's great, <laughs> dude. We need a set of aliens, um, you know, maybe one skating, this and that. I mean, this is all Brandon's idea as far as the dude getting sucked up. and That was perfect. Yeah. I think I had one idea, but it didn't make it, and it was the alien with a robe. Oh, no, it's uh, in here. Hanging. Okay. Uh, they didn't end up using it, but it's, yeah, so you see this full set, yeah. and then you go down. There we go. And you got uh, Dustin's like, I want an alien in a robe yes. with some uh, some slippers yeah. on. So <laughs> I also requested, which we ran out of time, uh, alien with some cargo shorts and, uh, you know, some uh, sandals. We got the sandals in yeah, here. Yep, but... yeah. So moving on to the patterns. Yep, just trying to go crop circle on this mm -hmm. one. You know, looked at mm -hmm. some reference online and just try to get crazy, you know? Yep. This, this is my favorite. This one I like. The, mainly the colors on the left are, you yeah. know, that, that blue sitting with the red and yellow is like totally weird, but works in, in a weird way. And this sticker, like the way you pulled off the uh, the Des Moines, the Iowa broke it up with uh, like that sticker yep. effect. Like they use that, yep. you know, a bunch. So I just honestly needed some content and elements. And I'm like, well, you know, I considered yeah. it. I cheated. You know, I'm like, oh, I'm cheating here, but no, I need something. Yeah, it's great. And then you got to go with the, the full alien pattern. Yeah, good you classic. Have that. Yep. Yeah, tonal or, you know, one, two color versus the full mm -hmm. full joint. That is the full kit. So moving on, I took some photos when I was out there. So you got to the airport. That's tight. Welcome to do tour. In the airport. In the airport. That's cool. Yep. How yeah. much did they pay for that? <clears throat> right. I That's mean, they're cool. fully committed. That whole area of Des Moines was like all do tour. So the merch, we got the the shirts in the back. So this is, you know, like like we said, this is the stuff that we don't really handle. We hand off this whole brand guide yep. to them. We don't decide what goes on the shirt. We don't decide, you know, what's what the the skateboarder looks like but same time i, I think they did did a good job oh yeah you know so pretty cool to see you know that they did that i mean shoot that's even a ps stick so 
they even sourced yeah schmidt stick was yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so even yeah there. sourcing the good wood so yeah yeah so uh different banners hanging throughout the town at different restaurants that's cool man yeah that's you should have snaked one of those could have had it at the office right dude and the skateboard so they had two skateboards they had two I mean, of those. this thing's giant this thing is is i don't know i think it, i've seen this in real life so this is the world's largest skateboard yeah is those it carter robs right deal i think some i don't know who owns it i think california ramp works maybe oh did they somebody. okay somebody but I think those are car tires. They are. No, it's rubber. Yeah. Car tires. Yep. I mean, yeah, I, you I've, can't tell how big it is. Right you here. reach as tall as you can go and you can can barely even touch like the nose if it's like sitting on its wheels. Yeah. I mean, right here, like my head would come up just above the, yeah, the can, kind of kingpin there. Yep. Yeah. And I was tripping out because I'm like, oh, this is a freaking car tire yeah. on here. Um, I mean, I don't, how do you get that? To, I thought, you told I mean, that? at one point, Rob Deerdick mm-hmm. made this for an episode where everybody stood on it yeah. and they went down some grass I, hill. I um, think that's the one. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. That's the only time I've ever seen a board this big. But then they had one sitting down. They had two. With a car on it. Yeah, with a car on it. With Toyota. Toyota is the major major sponsor. So they had a car sitting on the board on the course. Do you think they towed this thing just as a board or do they put it on a trailer? (laughs) It's on a trailer for sure. I don't know. It does have wheels, but I can't imagine they're towing that behind a truck. That'd be sick. (laughs) That would be sick. With like stacked with the other one on top. That'd be sick. We need to figure that out. Yeah. So uh, throughout the event in different areas, they had cut out these kind of wood cutouts of of each uh, character. So they had the you know the the dude there. That's tight. You got the uh, the hand plant going. Yeah, shout out to Scotty. Yeah, there's Scotty. So yeah, it was a great event. Um, very cool. Very uh, do tour made it happen in in no time as far as setting up an event and getting this thing to happen. You know, with the current situation and everything. Totally. And it ended up. You know, going off flawless. Oh, I yes. think Nyjah won street. Yep, Zion won the park. Yep. Yeah. So from here, these guys pretty much move on to uh, the Olympics. To the Olympics. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully that shit happens. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So yeah, great event, great uh, experience again with Dew Tour, and now we are going to start the uh, Winter Dew Tour uh, branding for uh, December. I think it's 16th through the 19th. Hell yeah. Back in Copper Mountain. Really? Yeah. Great. Yep, so it's a great venue. Yeah, super stoked. I think we're probably the only ones who have done it uh, like two years in a row like yeah. this. So this, this will be three events going yeah. on four. Yep. Yeah. So that's tight. Super stoked. We'll see what uh, it's going to be challenging because honestly, um, this we... this stuff for that winter one yeah. turned out great. Yeah. You know, and and the way it was used and the event and everything was like. I, I'm, I'm trying to envision how it's going to get better. What do we do you know? next? Yeah, what do we do yeah. next? Can't you know? do a Yeti. No. Can't do a, nope. you know, I don't know. but Yeah, so so what is that going to look like? But uh, we got to start figuring that out. Yeah, so. we almost have to go pure graphic, you know, yeah. kind of get away from the illustration look. But for sure. I don't know. It'll yeah. be fun. Fun yep. little challenge. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's it. That's uh, that's kind of the do tour. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to uh, go to Copper Mountain in December. Yep. We're going to we're gonna go out there. We'll definitely have a booth um, at that event. Yeah. We didn't do the booth at uh, Des Moines because it was just, it was too rushed. Timing. Yeah, timing timing was bad. Oh. Um, so, yeah, we're going to definitely, we'll blow it out again at the winter one. I'm hoping it doesn't blizzard. Yeah. You know, it can't happen twice in a row. So. Yeah, we'll be there. Yep. So we have a new product here. Um, what was that thing? Let me see this product here first. So we have Ooh. new oh, bottle Weld, dude. bottle openers from Foster Weld. Look at that. That's so thick, heavy. This thing will last you a lifetime. Oh, what is this? Like a what kind of gauge metal is this? This is like bulletproof. <sighs> yeah, I'm open. not sure what this is, but you got the axe, and the axe is the, the is the uh, bottle opener. Yep. So you can kind of oh, just dude. crack your. Yeah, show us. Uh, this way and just Ooh. boom you got your lincoln look at that lincoln thing and oh, yeah, nice you got your beer so yeah go on the shop check it out uh, grab a bottle opener <laughs> grab a beer and uh until next time thank you guys for tuning in yep see you on episode 14 yeah yep smash that like button yep like subscribe comment uh yeah all that stuff whatever the kids are doing yes do it up